Welcome to Reading Horizons Discovery. This is the clubhouse. I am the compass, and these are my friends, Max and Maya. They will join me as I guide you through this discovery adventure. Before you get started, there are a few things I need to show you. First of all, to watch this video again at any time, just click on me, the compass, here in the clubhouse. Next is your nameplate, which is located up here at the top of the screen. This shows your first and last name and the number of coins you have. Click on your nameplate to see even more. This is the Discovery Dashboard. At the top is the chapter map which shows your progress in the current chapter with this red circle. When you get to the end of each map, you will earn a chapter trophy. All the trophies you earn are displayed here on the trophy stand. Just below the trophy stand is your treasure trove. This is where all your coins are stored. You can earn coins by reading books in the library, adding words to the word wall, completing lessons, and taking tests. You earn coins with almost everything you do. The last thing to show you in the dashboard is the clubhouse store. To enter the store, click on this sign. Choose one of the tabs along the top. Then explore these buttons to see the items you can buy. Click here to see even more items to choose from. Press the Buy button when you find the item you want. If you don't see the Buy button, then you need to earn more coins. Using your new items, you can change the look of your clubhouse and make it your very own. When you are finished in the store, click on the clubhouse sign to see your new clubhouse. This is the arrow button. The arrow button in the clubhouse will always take you to the next screen. If you have to leave in the middle of a lesson, this button will take you right back to the place where you left off. Once you are in a lesson, you have a few options. Click the arrow to move on to the next step. Click the replay button to repeat what was said. The pause button will pause the lesson. To start playing again, click the play button. To go back to the last section, select the rewind button. To return to the clubhouse, click the clubhouse sign. Next, Let's visit the vocabulary word walls by clicking on the small chalkboard here in the clubhouse. You have a word wall for each chapter. To see your word wall for chapter one, click on the number one. Words are added to the word wall when you spell and decode them correctly. To add new words to your word wall, click the arrow button. If you cannot click the arrow button, then you may need to go back to the clubhouse and complete some lessons first. To return to the clubhouse, click on the sign. Now I want to show you the library, which can be entered by clicking on the bookcase. In the library, you will see all the books, but you can only click on the books you have unlocked. You unlock books by completing the lessons. When a book is unlocked, you can highlight it with your mouse. There is also an empty coin slot on each unlocked book. This means you can earn a coin by reading the book and answering the questions that follow. When a book has a coin on it, that means you have answered the questions. It also means that you can have the book read to you. To read a book, select the one you want to read, and then click the arrow button. Let's read Mac and the Pirate King. This book has a gold coin, so you can have it read to you. 
To have the book read to you, click on the headphones. While Max or Maya reads the story, you can follow along with the highlighted text. When you are ready, click the corner of the page and turn it just like a real book. You can click on the headphones again to read the book on your own. Click the sign to go back to the library. Click it again to return to the clubhouse. Back in the clubhouse, you can exit the software by pressing the exit button. But wait, we can't exit yet. There is one more thing I need to show you. It is the game cupboard. Click on the dartboard to enter the game cupboard. The first time you enter the game cupboard, only the game Card Match will be available to you. The other games will be unlocked one by one as you earn each chapter trophy. To play a game, you will need at least 15 coins in the treasure trove. If you don't have enough coins, you can't play the games. 15 coins will buy you 15 minutes of game time. If you need to leave a game early, don't worry. You will get one coin back for each minute of game time left. These other items in the clubhouse, like the cowboy hat and the pirate ship, are collected as you complete each chapter. Good luck and have fun as you discover the joy of reading.